welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. We're continuing on with our Republic of Ireland All Time Eleven series, and this time we're on to our left backs. And I've got my little short list here again with uh, Dennis Irwin with fifty six caps, Steve Staunton with a hundred and two caps, Terry Field with forty two caps, Chris Hutton with fifty three caps, um, Ian Hart with sixty four caps, Stephen Warren fifty caps. I got Kil- Kevin Kilban in there because he played towards the end of his career, one hundred and ten caps. But he'd probably be considered more so for midfield spot. And Gary, I know you've got a, a couple there. You said a couple more. I have um, Tony Dunn, who got thirty three caps from nineteen sixty two to nineteen seventy five. He was the left back on the nineteen sixty eight Manchester United European Cup winning team, and very stylish, classy defender. Was Irish Footballer of the Year nineteen sixty nine. And another legend of Irish football, who whose predominant position was left back, uh, but he played in lots of positions. Was an old Cantwell. Uh, the Corkman, again famous for West Ham and Manchester United. And both Noel and Tony played in one of the great forgotten days of Irish football in 1963 in Danymont Park. We beat Austria 3-2 in the European Championships. And it, 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 that was a great Austrian side. I mean, they're, they're a lot better than Austria today. And uh, we qualified for the last eight of the European Championships. And we lost to Spain, the eventual winners. But in those days, only four teams made the finals. So we were in the top eight in Europe in those days. And Noel Cantwell actually got two goals that day. We beat Austria 3-2. But, uh, so I'd, I'd give Tony Dunn and Noel Cantwell an honourable mention or something. I'd say there's so many people. I'd say there's so, so many people sitting back just going, get that Gary Lab back. <laughs> 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 the historian. <laughs> but uh, no, no, seriously, fair okay. play to the research. I love it. Uh, and uh, I do appreciate the honourable mentions. Um is there anyone I've left out that you can think of off the top of your head? No, I think that gives a good spread. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think okay. I think if we're kind of going for the cream of the crop. Yeah, actually, I don't think he should be there as the best defender, but someone I always look back on with a bit of nostalgia was, uh, oh, you have Terry Fields. Yeah, sorry. yeah. You have him, you have him, sorry, you have him. I'm, yeah, no, I'm Terry was a good defender. Terry was yeah, a good defender. Yeah, I know, defender, he's, the, he's legging it down the <laughs> wing. I always yeah, like yeah. Terry. well, okay. the thing that always stands out to me with Terry Fields is the Ray Houghton goal. And he's Celebration. The, it's yeah. just an iconic yeah. picture. <laughs> it, it always stands out. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Terry, he's also a follower of our page Hilda on Instagram. Well. Okay. Yeah. Um, Chelsea legend as well. Yeah, and Everton <laughs> and Man City and Wimbledon, the list goes on. He, was yeah. a, he, uh, he had a serious CV at clubs, uh, to be fair. Um, Crazy Young Man as well, wasn't he? Yes, yes, yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He actually featured on that documentary. But uh, I kind of want to. Ian Hart, I think, during Mick McCarthy's time, anyway, uh, very, very, very good left back. Well, Mick played him as a centre half a lot of the time, which got a lot of um, criticism, I think. At the, in, in Mick's early days, I think he saw. Um, and I think he had Ian on the team for his set piece, because Ian. Yeah. was one of the best players I've ever seen to t- take a set piece, free kicks, corners, everything for Ireland. Um, His well, range of passing. I won't mention penalties so, yeah, um, in 2002, <laughs> but um, uh, that's another story. And wouldn't mention Kevin Kilvan from that penalty either because yeah, I think yeah. his miss was even worse. But um, <laughs> Kevin was a great I hope he's not defender, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right, Kev. But um, yeah, um, I, Ian was predominantly a left back. Um, I, I wouldn't have him in our greatest left backs from these positions, a left back, but definitely from the set piece. Not even delivery. in contention. Honorable mention. Uh, honorable mention, maybe, but we've had a we've had a lot of really good left backs over the years, you know. Um, yeah. Well, in my time, again, he's probably one of the most recent best ones, and so at Leeds, he was very good as well. You speak about Gary Kelly as his uncle, I think. Um, yeah. You know, he since he had the two of them playing, and they were representing Ireland quite well at Leeds, to be fair. And I thought, so, I think he's a little bit maybe underrated. I think yeah. with Ian is you look at you know when when managers are choosing teams and, and different stuff and we're looking at right backs and left backs, a lot of it and it will come to this one as well in the centre backs is is the balance in the side and if you look at somebody like Terry Phelan and Ian Hart, completely the opposite type of players. Ian, a finesse player, lacked pace, which yeah. was always a worry. I think on the left hand yeah. side for a manager, that's possibly why Mick, why Mick decided to in, put him into the yeah. left. But what you got with him then was a range of passing. Uh, free kick specialist which would could give you goals corners all that sort of stuff as well and I think he was a, almost a bit of a luxury at times his defending was good um, Terry was all about pace and getting forward um, I think Ian was a, was a really he was a, a special player because I think sometimes Ireland lacks players with 
superb technique. Ian had really, really good technique. Where's Ian? Uh, exactly that's what we were saying but to, to go back to your original point Gary Noel Cantle was the other one that used to get man, uh, mentioned to me just after I think okay. Jackie yeah. Kerry Noel Cantwell was the yeah. next one who was the you know kind of unspoken about legend of Irish football and again had the CV to back it up from, from a club game but then looking forward at your list yeah we were awash I think you know from the mid 90s on to probably 2000 with, with class options at left back um, Dennis Irwin is is the standout one. He has to be the one because he was Mister Consistent. You know, I think you know all we have to do is look at Sir Alex Ferguson's quote saying the first person on my team, I think it was, or, or something along yeah, those lines, yeah. is Dennis Irwin. And if, player, an if, if a manager, so. yeah, if a manager is going to say that, who's coached, you know, that Manchester United side that decade, that dynasty of players, to give that to somebody like Dennis Irwin ahead of. You know the the legends they had at Old Trafford, Ronaldo, it, so on. Exactly. Yeah. Then it just shows. Well, then how can he be left out of an Irish team? I think with Dennis, you never got less than about seven out of ten. Yeah, well, I think that was one of the goals as well. Yeah, because he was just so consistent. He was so good, and uh, and understated. He didn't and make a song and dance yeah, about yeah, it. And he was. He, he'd he'd never score be, a free kick as well. Yeah, yeah. he'd never on be on in pens. the news. He'd never be causing trouble. He'd never be looking, you know, fighting with anyone or anything like that. Uh, one, he's he's one probably person. the perfect player you want as a manager, isn't <laughs> he? Is, he? He's uh, never going to give you trouble. He's absolutely. always available, Dennis, yeah. in, in uh, due deal. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I would say is, and another name you have to, Steve Staunton, I know he's on the oh, list. Yeah. Steve's the only Irishman to play in three World Cups. Mm. Yeah, he has. He's caps, got so. over 100 caps. He is. Um, he, he was a superb left back for us. And... Uh, but I, I suppose... And he can play in a number of different positions. Uh, well. well, he played centre-half when he... Mm, uh, in, well. in, in 2002. Yeah, and he played... He, he moved up and played in, in left mid as well. But um, predominantly, his career he was... He started out as a left-back. And uh, he, he was a superb servant to us. Mm, and uh, I, I hope people who only remember Steve Staunton, the manager, will remember yeah, yeah, Steve Staunton, yeah, the player. That, I because, think that's very unfair. Yeah, uh, I, the way... He, that went down he anyway. Was too, I think too early and too young in his career is very un, and we're very unfortunate with Bobby Robson getting sick as well. But um, Steve Staunton was a superb player for us and a superb servant. Yeah. Um, so he has to be very, very well, considered. Close. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very close. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I'm actually. I agree. Steve Staunton was. I saw a lot of him live, and uh, I think in the early nineties. As, as football's developed, he was one of the best ball playing um, centre backs actually with Aston Villa a lot. Mm. I'd actually okay. argue for him to be in there as a left sided centre back. But for me, I think, you know, you might have might be selling Dennis Irwin a bit short by saying, you know, he was a seven out of a ten. He he was he was so much more than that. He won seven Premier League titles. In many ways I'd say he'd an unfulfilled Irish career. Um he didn't make it into the nineteen ninety squad. He only kind of became a regular in 92. But again, he played most of his career at right back, which for me, he was, sorry, you know, but for Ireland, he played right mostly back, yeah. as a right back. Yeah, he was yeah. played out of position, basically, and he never looked as as comfortable. You're, you know, Ian Hart, we could say he brought the free kicks and, and you know, the penalties. Dennis Irwin was Man United's free kick and penalty taker when they had Ryan Giggs, Eric Cantona. You know, that's how He's good... He's only replaced by Beckham, I think, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's how good he was. I and... remember one great free kick in the playoff against Belgium. I know, ultimately, we didn't qualify for the 98 World Cup, but... Um, he scored a superb free kick in Lansdowne Road to put us ahead in the, the first leg. And uh, and, and Mick yeah. wasn't a big fan of his either. Um, he kind of had a bit of a testy yeah, relationship they were, they were, with Mick yeah. as well. So <laughs> I think... It, oh, I don't I look, think that would have helped with them being teammates previously, would you? Yeah, I just look back at... Um, I just a lot of these players on on the list. You kind of think did they maybe do better for Ireland than they did with their clubs or vice versa? And, and I think Dennis Irwin's one player that I'd have a tinge of regret that he, we probably maybe never even saw the, the the best of him with Ireland for for whatever reasons, whether it was being played out of position or not getting on with mm. the manager. I think we kind of missed it. And we're talking about Ireland. clubs as well. I always thought it was incredible that Liverpool sold Steve Staunton because he went on to be such a such a servant. For Villa, he ended up going back to Liverpool yeah. at the end, but and then back yeah. to Villa. <laughs> yeah, but, but that era of when they sold him was to me an era of when they actually could have really done with a player like yeah. him because they started obviously to dip and, and kind of go a bit backwards. Um, and defensive stability was never something you know under the likes of Graham Souness and Roy Evans was was never really there. And I thought Steve Staunton would have done a really good job, yeah. of them. and another great man for a free kick, yeah, exactly, yeah.
Yeah. Uh, kind of other honourable mentions: Chris Hutton, um, Stephen Moore. It's kind of probably our mo- most modern uh, left full. Probably doesn't. He's, he's fifty caps, three goals. Probably doesn't get in, enough recognition for kind of you know he did he did help us get to the Euros, part of the Euros squad. Yeah. Did he play in two thousand and twelve? The Euros then as well. I think he did. I can't remember. Himself or Wilson probably. Mm. Um, but did, yeah. but more to be fair, from yeah. someone who came over pretty much f- f- from being a striker, Mick McCarthy at Wolves then made him a left back at Wolves, and then he okay. went on to be Ireland's left back for a long period of time, and, and he's not very near, he, like he's he's not in the upper echelons so to speak as the rest of them. But I do think he deserves some credit. Yeah, Chris Hutton there just to, to mention as well, great serum to Irish football, and he's actually one of possibly. The earliest iconic images I can remember. Um, there's a great shot of him in Euro '88 with Rude's gullet. And yeah, the two of them are, are basically straight for a ball, and it was captured. It was on. I always remember I, one of the first things I was given was the thing called World Cup '90, which was out um, ahead of the 1990 World Cup, and on the front of that cover was uh, Rude Gullet and Chris Hutton. So, uh, yeah. Chris is a special place for me. Very, for very stylish player as well. Yeah. A lovely footballer. And you can see that as a manager, he wants to play football the same way that he played it himself. But a, a lovely, stylish footballer. Just to mention as well to another um, Tottenham uh, player back in the 70s was Jimmy Holmes, who unfortunately got a very bad injury and in, he was in Bulgaria in 79. He was, I think, at the time, he was our youngest ever player. Lovely left back. And... The player as well I'd like to mention, and in my view, but I, you can't consider him, the best left-back I ever saw play for Ireland was Jim Beglin. But mm, Jim, yeah. Jim was absolutely superb, but he didn't play long enough. He was on that Liverpool team, the, the all-conquering Liverpool mm. team. And uh, I, what did he get? 10 or 15 caps has only gotten. His career sadly ended by injury. I, I think if Jim hadn't got injured, we wouldn't be having this debate. That's my view, but I don't think we can consider him given the amount of time he... He played at left back. Mm. That's true. Right. Yeah. Well, like no, number one, I'm gonna say for me, Dennis Irwin. I, 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 I think Steve Staunton's a little bit unfortunate there, uh, but top, uh, top cream of the crop for me, uh, Dennis Irwin here. Yeah, I think you know seven Premier League titles and being a starter says all you need to know what he achieved in the club game. Um, and for me, he had all the qualities of all the players on that list. He's the most all-round of all of them. Yeah. Good going forward, going good, solid as a rock defensively, um, great attitude. And like I said, such, such brilliant delivery from set pieces. Or He was beautifully two-footed as well. Mm. That's why he was able to play as a, a, as a left back. And he had that option. You know, nowadays you'll see a lot of kind of the inverted wingers or full backs constantly cutting in. He could actually, he could go down the outside and whip in a lovely ball with his left as well. So for me... Yeah, he's well. I'm only, he's yeah. He's one of my reminds favorite me of players. Young me there, it's two feet. <laughs> yeah. Carlton, <Awesome. Really>? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Zero for me, followed closely by I'd say Ian and Steve. We would be on a par, but Dennis definitely all the way. Gary, yeah, I think Dennis Owen has to be in your all-time Republic of Ireland eleven. Um, somewhere, Steve, in <laughs> somewhere, and I, I think we're putting him in as a, we're putting him in as left back. I, but Steve Staunton is incredibly unlucky to miss out. That's all I'd say. Well, you might get into the centre. You might get into. You might get into centre back. Stay tuned. Dennis Irwin. Uh, I would have to say Dennis if it's that's okay. the choice. Yeah. Clean sweep for 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 Dennis Irwin as our all time left back. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Are you screaming at the? Uh, are you shouting? Sorry, at the screen, at someone that we've left out. Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, drop a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe. Speak to you soon.